to this day. To this day. To this day. To this day. Yeah. To this day. To this day. To this day. To this day. They need extra biscuits. Fresh to death. Yeah. Fresh to death. Yeah. 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 Tell the taxes hit. Can you tell? Can you tell the taxes hit? Yes, we are back, baby. Uh -huh. This inaugural episode. I'm so elated, man. Happy New Year's, first and foremost, to everybody in the audience. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. This is our New Year episode. We are here celebrating the New Year. We are officially out of hibernation mode. We are officially back outside, and you ain't like that. What are we talking about? We don't trust you. Huh? That's what we talking about. We don't 
Yeah, we find out real suspicious. Yeah, we find out real suspicious. So we reporting live, KTL and the ATL. We are here at Industry ATL. Shout out to the good brother Brill. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to the whole team and whatnot. Shout out to Haiti. You know what I mean? Shout out to Raven in the building. Everybody that's uh, put this thing together. We are so proud to uh, be here for you guys for this powerful episode that we're going to be doing tonight, man. First and foremost, introduce yourselves, good brother. Nishan, introduce yourself. Good brother, Nishan, introduce yourself to the family. I'm a designer, entrepreneur, I own a brand, and I also hand make sneakers as well. And I'm out here with my brother. Red Pella invited me out. I'm just happy to share this experience with y'all. That's right. Yeah, All right, yeah. Jefferson, introduce yourself, good brother. What up? It's Jefferson. I have the Athletics brand. Yes. Uh, you know, I got a star. You know, I got a star. Call star status in New Black Wall, Wall, Wall Street. Yeah, yeah. Just happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. I'm just happy to be here. You know what I mean? We're going to chop it up about some hip hop. We're going to talk about the New Year, Spring yeah, Equinox. That's right. That's yeah, right. let's go. You know that's right. That's right. Surround you know what I'm saying? Myself with Surround myself with it. You know what I'm uh, talking about? You know, men of the cloth. You know what I mean? That 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 good cloth. You know what I'm talking about? And um, yeah, yeah. You know, creators and whatnot. We are all members of what we call the creator community. You know, an offshoot of what you guys know as the conscious community. But in the creator community, we are more active. We are not the thinkers and the knowers. We are not we are the, the thinkers doers. and the knowers. You know, we are the you doers. Do shit. You know, you because you gotta do shit. Do in order to create, you gotta do something. Put the hands to work. The hands yeah, to work. Not just the mind. Yeah. You know what not mean? just the mind. Not just the mind. You know what I mean? It, it starts in the mind, but then it gotta finish with the hands, so you can craft. You know, we call assets. What we call assets. Living in these wonderful days and times. Where you literally could create a thought out of air. Out of air. You know what I'm talking about? And bring, it into, about? And bring it into production by the end of the Make day. It Make it manifest. I could do magic. I could do magic. You know what I'm talking about? I could do magic. Shout out to Black Bada. Magic. Shout out to Black Magic. Shout out to KT the Arch Degree. Shout out to AA Rashi. Shout out to the team, you dig? Yeah. You know what I'm talking Lord, about? A. Yeah. A. Rashi just sent that book through. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Shout out to AA and everybody else. We don't trust you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we waking up on some K dot. We chose, yeah, we choosing violence tonight. This is Saturday Night Live. Yeah, and the sound effects is back. Wow. You can tell the taxes hit, right? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah. Absolutely. Some very interesting things are going on in the news that we must address. You know, the great divine, he is so on time. My goodness, you couldn't have written this shit in Bollywood the way that they in Bollywood the way that they dropping these stories in our lap. Just in the past, we saw World War Three actually kick actually off kick because if you don't think the terrorist attack by ISIS in Russia is not the beginning of something that won't end. Well, God damn it! There's a bridge. There's a bridge in Brooklyn, and I I think I can sell you an eBay. <laughs> yeah, that part. Yeah. Uh -huh. What are you suspicious? I mean, come on to now. Day. You don't to find that day. suspicious. So now ISIS popped this, back you out. You know what I mean? Uh, the the uh, you inter, don't find that. Into stage left in the in the in the worldwide shit show. Now we bring ISIS back. You know what I mean? Where they been? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, they outside now. Everybody outside for the spring. ISIS was riding on the same plane that Kendrick rode in on. Mm. <laughs> they just decided that they wanted to wake up and choose war. You know what I'm talking about? Big violence. You know? Um, keep in mind, though, that the, ac the acronym for ISIS, for those who don't study, it goes both ways. It's, it's the terrorist cell, but it's also Israel's secret intelligence service. You know mm. what I'm talking about? So understand what's going on and what you may be witnessing. And when they talk about the ties to the Ukraine, you got to do the knowledge about who the Ukrainians are to Israel. That's almost like Jamaicans to uh, to Flatbush. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Like, do the knowledge. But, you know, parents. Family tree. Right. So, you know, it's a movie taking place. You know what I mean? You don't got to wait for John Wick because they outside wicking, my brothers. 
It's a wiki. Yeah, it's wiki wiki. It's giving big wick right now. Big wick. It's, it's a lot of wicked taking place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my wickeds. Hold on. To this <laughs> Shout out to all to of my wickeds. They John wicking out here. To this Brujas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brujas in the month of. Woo, shout Aries. out to all of my Aries Brujas. We're going to have a whole podcast about that. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, let's get. We need to buy a block of time on uh, Rupert Murdoch's airwaves to talk about <laughs> Brujas and Aries because that's a deadly combo. You know what I'm talking about? But obviously, y'all Brujas been getting busy uh, taking your mushroom tea. And whatnot during the winter season. It looks as if y'all been cooking because Kali Yuga didn't go anywhere. I want to... Uh, <laughs> Try to bring that golden age. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? We tried. Uh, strive but for we it. strive for it, but it just not happened. It's not given. So we back in the Kali Yuga. Shit is kali And it's interesting right now. Yeah. It's very interesting. Um, what's the climate looking like in this month of Aries? In this month How, did of Aries. This How did this shit start? I am real God hot damn. Who? Smoking. Woo! My goodness. Uh, yeah, Fry like a freaking scene. They said yeah. that the motherfucking groundhog so showed up early. That suspicious. God damn it. He did. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> don't find that suspicious. Whatever his name is, the groundhog. Phil, he was he was outside a few weeks ago telling niggas, listen, Popped prepare yourself. Yeah, Popped get, out. get your uh, black air forces. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time. It's that time. You saw Kanye wear the mask, so you yeah, already know. Yeah. It's that it's time. time. It right. It's that time. That all black. That uh that that good opium right there. You know what I'm talking about? They moving with that all black. The Rick Owen boots. You know what I mean? It's giving Rick well, it's Rick Owen's energy outside. Uh, like the Legion of Doom. Legion of Doom. Legion These of little Doom. gothic niggas is penetrating. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Baby Kia. We're gonna talk Little about Diddy. him before the night is over. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? That chaos magic is running crazy in these streets, especially in Atlanta. Shout mm-hmm. out to Pluto, man. To oh, my day. goodness. About you that. don't find to that day. suspicious. I hope the children are. To you don't, yeah, keep in mind, fellas, to ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, gods and goddesses, and goddesses, and goddesses thoughts and goddesses. Listen, listen. This, listen. Is this is Saturday Night, night Live. Saturday this is Saturday Night, night, night Live. Little Hey Ru, uh, you know, um, Frederick the Third is asleep. Yeah. <laughs> this is Saturday Day Night Live. You know what I'm talking about? Freddie about Murphy Freddie Murphy and uh, and, uh, and Phil Belushi is in the building. In the building. You know what I'm talking about? about? This, is this is not kid friendly tonight. tonight. It's Saturday, Saturday Day, Day Night Live. Night live. Go ask GPT what, what that means or Gemini, Gemini because, because that means that, means that, that we get getting salacious. salacious. Yeah, you know I'm talking yeah. about we going right into uh uh what you call it Sunday, which is known as sacrilegious Sundays. So Saturn Day Night Live, we get into the darker things, y'all. We take a trip down the dark side. Shout out to our Kibalon 44. Me and a good brother did a monumental free master class yesterday. Yes, yes, you was in the building, right? It was crazy. We was lit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to the good brother. You know, uh, we we definitely are building up um, our... You know, squad. Yeah, we build, we we building up, we building, building, we building worlds with conversations because words are worlds. But leading up to April the seventh, which is a day before this solar eclipse, we're gonna deliver something that the people are going to never forget. You know, what I'm talking about we're gonna properly prepare our network and the family for this eclipse the right way. You know what I mean? And then the God Body Challenge starts, so we're not just talking; we're gonna live it. It is level up time, y'all. If there's no, if there's never been a precipice in time where the intersection of so many important points are meeting one another, it's the next few weeks, man. Y'all want to talk about what that's about, about? Like, like how, how you, how you preparing? Uh, what was the energy leading up to this eclipse? I'm just, you know, just trying to surround my, well, not trying. I am surrounding myself with either like-minded individuals or people that I feel give off a certain energy. And just protect my peace. That's really it, to be honest with you. That's, that's right. That's how I wrote day to day, to day, to be honest with you. So I'm not really going to change that regimen. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He, that's got, right. he got, got the cheat code. code. You know what I'm talking about? He know how to move in a room full of full of vultures. Oh, Hold on. Man. What about you, Jeff? Just deep dive, deep dive within. Right. Sam, make, make sure you straight. Then nothing outside is going to affect you. Facts. I mean, you heard that, huh? Suspicious. You don't hunt. Do you find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious. 
I don't. You don't find that suspicious? That makes a lot of sense. Chicken Littles be talking about, oh, the sky is falling. And I'll be like, the sky been falling. Ben. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, Galacticus is going to end the world. Nigga, uh, somebody's world ended a few minutes ago. Mm. So, your, your world finna end. You got a date, my nigga. So, why are we talking about what's about to happen when you don't even know what the lottery number is? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You didn't even know who was going to win the Super Bowl, fam. They don't know you on FanDuel. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> You're not a, I was following the FanDuel page. You're not a hit on FanDuel. So now all of a sudden, your ass is a prediction model. I don't think so. I don't believe you. You need more people. We're not going for all of the doom and gloom. Listen, it's, out, it's, 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 it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful life that we're living. I hope everybody who woke up today, to this day, you don't find that was thankful to this day. and grateful yeah. and showed some motherfucking gratitude for the fact that your ass don't got to wake up underneath a bridge or something. Or you don't got to wake up in Miami where they just outlawed homeless people sleeping outside and whatnot. When I was at, huh? They're going to start squatting. They're going to start squatting taking over me in the mansions. Hold on, like that. Taking over me in the mansions. Taking over me in the mansions. Taking over me in the mansions. Taking over me Come and get me, and you will get locked up trying to change the locks because I've been watching the malls on YouTube. Mm. These niggas with these buckets on their head, they done, they done, you know what I'm talking about? It's the return of the malls. That's a whole nother podcast. Why? Because think about it. What the hell do you think the migrants in Europe are? Do you know what countries they're coming from? Wax on, wax on. Huh? Oh, the Eddie? Okay, let's fix the audio. It might be in those knobs. Mic check, check, check. check. It's still live on something, though, right? It's still live on YouTube? Yeah. What up, YouTube? <laughs> we'll be back <laughs> in a few Jack, 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 Jack. Jack. Holy damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, you all live on your YouTube. Yeah. Probably that was a, a little late. It didn't start like that. Yeah. It was like, we didn't make it. Start finishing in real time. Like, like we, we never left. left. Let, Let me know, know if we got, got latency. Word of the night, latency. Word of the night, latency. Let's, Let's look that up, up y'all. Yeah, let's go to the Google's glasses. Ask Lord. Microphone check, 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 check. check. Turn my mic up. Turn my mother my mic up. The one is hot, huh? Let's see. Hoosh. Alright, so back to what we were talking about. Hold to on. this day. Yeah. Huh. Uh, to this day. Water's going wild, nigga. <laughs> Water's going wild. Water's going wild, nigga. Squatter GPT, nigga. Squatter GPT. Some fezzes or something like facts. You niggas need to order them more some fezzes. All you drug dealers who gave back all that time in the feds off of the Moorish flex. Mm. Y'all is on the Moorish flex. Do you know that's the biggest growing movement behind the wall, especially in the feds? Is the more why is everybody going Muslim? Let's talk about it. Protection. No, it's not that. There's an influence that the Moors have in the system with what they call formerly real niggas. 
right? The hitters. And they are seeing the effects of real, doable, uh, applicable information. And the Moors is it behind the wall helping people come home. The gang members are helping people get more time. Ain't nobody coming home this up in the mountains and tucked away on some gang gang shit. You're not giving time back. You actually tacking on shit. So there's a complete reversal. You see grown men growing up. Right, right. I don't have no... Look, we all came through a school of thought and knowledge. Like, Islam at this point is like high school or college for certain people. They're going to go on to something else, but I'm seeing my people, I'm seeing the motherfucking cattle moving. You can't be you can't be stuck in that one religion all your life when there's about 20 of them shits. Well, AI, chat GPT is out. It's about 200 religions. If you know where you look at. 200. 200. So, Probably more than that. The fact that people are walking through Islam, that school of thought and knowledge and refining themselves and getting some type of discipline when sexual discipline and and, and just self mastery is at an all time low. And, 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 and we know we know how vigorous Ramadan, we know what Islam calls of man. No, no. Salute to fucking O Block, my nigga. My nigga. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Salute, salute to, to John. 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 Suspicion is day. You, you, you getting a you fucking, fucking rebranding re-brand re-brand award, award, Jonathan, Jonathan nigga, 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 nigga. You put out, you put a, out a, 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 a fucking a meditation, a meditation, a meditation album, album, then you took your shahada, and then you did a show where you refurb, he refurbished my people's basements, Kev. Mm. Turned his shit into a bowling alley and a bar and all kind of shit, arcade. Yeah, that's my people's. So little John, who I personally remember, and know from back in the days, 2003, uh, eight, you know, during the crunk eras. And the transformation is a testament to the transformation that I see within myself when I look in the mirror. The fact that some of the people who I came up around are on the wave that I helped to usher in, right? Me, Blue, and the whole fam and everything. Man, that shit is poetic justice, bro. Because I've always told people... You got to stay on your path and walk your walk and don't motherfucking turn around like the niggas are turning to salt because everybody that you left is going to eventually catch up to you. You don't got to go backwards. They come into your house. Mm-hmm. So now he in our house doing what we came to do. We did that shit 20, shit, years, 20 ago. years ago. Right? Right? And many and people many that people we affiliated, that we affiliated with, are with are doing things, thing, but what we but know is that, 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 that we're that touching the culture and affecting it in a way where it's given what it's supposed to give without us being all preachy and reachy and corny and moist and zesty and fake woke and all of these stupid shit, whole you know, all of the things that turn people away. No, you put the clean glass next to the dirty glass and you let it do what it do. You know what I'm talking about? And... You do things to whereas you show yourself as a shining example of what perfection looks like. These niggas think that me and my brother are supposed to turn into some monks or something. I don't know who these... <laughs> wait, hold on. Let me turn this water on my nigga. I don't know if y'all know where we come from. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This shit right here is enough. Is enough. The fact the that fact you got, that me, you in got house, me in the house... Doing, uh, doing uh, you know, husband you know, dream, husband dream. And, 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 and taking it easy and I'm not outside applying pressure. No, that is that is that is that is that is a revolution in and of itself. Nigga, I'm a Sith Lord. I come from some real dark shit, bro. And the people that I represent, represent will they will they vouch, will for, vouch for, for that for that, that fact. That I'm not gonna be the one to tell, one tell my story. story. I'll let I'll others let tell it. Tell it. Because, because the people that people see that me and my brother, brother flexing, flexing and doing what we doing, doing, doing at this, at high, this level, high level, you can't, you can't imagine, imagine how many lives me and him personally are affecting because of who we attached to. My network. I said this before. My network is my net worth, right? All the time. Yeah. Every day. I don't know nobody whose network is iller than me and my brothers. And that's no offense to nobody in their network because you're supposed to know your universe is your universe. Right. Your universe is your universe. I'm introduced to your universe when I met you. You bring me into your universe. I bring you into my universe. Absolutely. And vice versa. 
And I know that my network is the craziest network on the planet, damn near. So the people that we just, just by getting on your phone, I, I don't even know the effects of, of the YouTube stuff. I, I, I will never know it. You know what I mean? Like, I'll have to read that shit in the law library in the spirit realm. Like, damn, <laughs> someone's putting on. They have a nigga in the magazine talking about, talk about how effective the YouTube, the YouTube stuff was. Stuff you're not going to know that in your waking state. Nipsey didn't, didn't, didn't know his impact. Know his impact. He'll know He'll it know in the it other in the realm when he's able to, he's tap, able to in tap in on some on T'Challa some shit, shit and see that, and see he, that was he was revered. revered. Right? Right? He didn't know he that, didn't when, know he that was when he was here. But if he but knew if that he when, knew he that was when he was here, was here would he have would done he have what, he, done was what he, was he was doing? That's the million That's dollar, the million dollar, dollar question. question. Right. Right. Anybody did more. <clears throat> well, that, well, that, that goes. That, 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 well, that, 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 that's a toss up that goes on to Vegas and the betting because that's in the what if round. Fanduel. That goes to Fanduel, my genius, because that goes to DraftKings because that's a bet right there. That's just a prediction. I would say that what he did was enough. But imagine if he was alive during the lockdown, mm. during the PPPs, and oh, yeah. during the launch of Ethereum, which launched at like nothing. He was already cooking, right. so just imagine. He was cooking. That's suspicious. To this day, oh, the AI. AI. He would have had. He would have had. He would have had, had, the, had, the, had, the, he would've, he would've had he would've our people had where they people needed, where needed to be. Nipsey robots. Nipsey robots. Because he was already. He was already doing smart. Uh, he was already doing with the AR and the yeah, VR, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, what they yeah. doing right now with spatial technology? He was doing that with Idris in 2018. He was rocking a QR code and doing the pop up videos and whatnot. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and he was on uh, sector sector 90 and whatnot. And he we we went out there and did a presentation at the Bitcoin place in Engle, Englewood that he was putting on. And he was connected with them, so he was already putting a hood on the bitcoins. Do you know how many people in the hood got bitcoins, bro? That's that's the unspoken. That's some shit that's unspoken, and I ain't gonna speak about it because whole body be watching me. Whole body out in this in Glorilla and Hunter. They be on my line, and they out here taxing the niggas with the middies and whatnot. But but the Bitcoin is part of what they call the there's three nodes and whatnot that's rocking. I don't want to get too deep in it. We're gonna have a whole show where we're gonna dissect the network state and whatnot. But the bitcoins represent what they know as sovereignty. It's the third node. It's the third node. It's basically the wild card, right? Right. It is outside of the centralized banking system. And it is and outside, it is outside of, of what is known as the dictatorship, dictatorship systems, systems like, like China, China and, other and other places where they got, where shit, they got on shit on lock, right? Right. So Bitcoin, so Bitcoin represents, represents that wild card where, where somebody, somebody from, from what is known, what is known as, as uh, 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 um, a non-wealth non -wealth background, background, right? A right? seedy background. background. They now they could now be the new wealth class, right? They are not part of the old blue blood established. They're not Wall Street, right? They're not of that New York Times. Blue blood Blue background, blood background where, it's where it's old money, white collar, uh, uh, robber barons, well, the, the Vanderbilts. Yeah, yeah, they ain't none of that. But you gonna have to, you gonna have to sit in the same lunch in the same restaurant, five star, seven star, whatever, with with shorty with her tits out, with with a nigga with face tats, right? Who got new wealth? He a billionaire, multi, big whale. And he was doing, he was doing credit card scams back in the days. And, and that's, that's how he came up, type, type shit. So, so there's a whole new wealth class, and also what Bitcoin and just all cryptocurrency in and of itself represents is just a whole new way for people to truly be what they called when we were coming up. And I don't like to use this word because it's a trigger word, and it's been highly and been hijacked, like how they hijacked so many other words like woke and other shit, sovereign. Right, they hijacked that, so I don't like using utilizing it. However, to be truly off grid, to be truly a man of your own, you could build a nation right now. They're building micro nations, and they're utilizing cryptocurrency. Prior to that, they were using things like the Ithaca dollar and whatnot. You know what I'm talking about? Where they were utilizing their own currency. So this this thing that um, Satoshi Nakamoto came up with, this is not a new concept of having your own currency and whatnot. But, but it's, it's going to afford 
people to build their own nations. This is what you're going to see multiple new nations sprouting up with Bitcoin, whales, and billionaires. You're going to see the quote unquote, you saw a glimpse of it with Kai Sinet. Where he goes from the digital node into the physical node. It's called a network state. It's a network effect where you could take thousands of followers and bring them into the real world. The real world is not built to handle. The matrix is not built to handle a rush like that. So they was listening. He was live the other day reviewing the um, Future album. I think it was 97,000 people listening to it live. Do you know what 97,000 looks like in the real world, though? It's a city. Do you know what 9,000 look like in the real world? Do you know what 900, if I tell 900 people pull up, pull up, I'm going to be on 2 or 5 and whatnot at 12 o'clock, and 900 people pull up, pull up, then, then GTA 8.5 when the SWATs come out. Come out. Right, right, you two with they bird ass, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you two, we gonna see your niggas in family court. You, 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 you gonna see your hold on, hold on, to this day, we gonna see your family court to this day. I'm taking you niggas in the class, Lion Cohen, to this day, you gonna be cleaning my toilet to this day. Yeah, 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 to this day, to this day. So now you two, they not the big kahuna on the block no more. They not the big kahuna on the block no more. You see you two went ahead and deleted my channel. And, and you know, they put, yeah, but they fell into our trap though. Because my, my lawyer game is crazy. My paperwork game is immaculate. They took, they took look, I got, I got 15 years of emails and timestamps where people were like, red and blue, you saved our life. life. You understand? you understand? I got, I got receipts, receipts of truly, truly saving real, real life, life healing. healing. AIDS, AIDS and cancers and, and herpes, all type all of terminal type of illnesses. illnesses. Talking about, I, 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 I got people, I got emails where people, people was like, like your red. red. We listened to your show in 2013, 2013 where you was onboarding us with Bitcoin when you brought the brother D. Miller L. And they were talking about Bitcoin in 2013 and onboarded us. And that shit was at like 500 and I bought 5,000. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Break? Break? So, so we about to take a commercial, commercial, break, commercial break, break, but let, let me just, just finish, finish the thought real, real, quick. real quick. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about. Um, um, we're going we to take them to the cleaners. You know what I'm talking about? We got to take them to the cleaners. And now... And now YouTube, YouTube is no longer the, the big dogs, dog. the, the switches, the streamers are the big dogs. Big they dog. took over YouTube overnight. overnight. When, when YouTube, when that shit happened, when YouTube, YouTube people was like, yo, build your channel up. I was like, nah, something new is coming. I've been here before. Let me do, let us, let me and Blue Cook. This is what we do. We gonna find a new route. So the new route is not YouTube. When they, when they, when they cut that channel out of 15 years, theoretically, they cut, that was a book end of a whole epoch and era of this. Community, community because, because people, people would think this side of the channel was older, older but he don't even have an original channel, channel that's still up there from 15 years, years ago. ago. You, you feel me? Feel me? That, channel, that channel, no less, theoretically, might have been the oldest channel. channel. Right. Nope, no, you, you add, add, add on the blog talk too. Let's just add that blog talk on, and that's a whole other animal. But the great thing about that is now the content is king. And that content that they went ahead and erased. Thank you, YouTube, once again. I hope you grow six foot wings, you bird ass Negroes, you. Because now data is gold. Now I get to take my content and launch it on a streaming network. Yes. We got the chat? Yeah. Chat is lit. Chat is saying audio. All right. We got to fix the audio, y'all. We be back. We're going to take a break. You dig? I didn't know that. I could do the magic.
better now. It's better now. I don't know. It's just an echo. Mike check one two. Mike check one two. Mike check three four. Yo, Mike check three four. Check check. Madam. Madam. I need a light. I can hear the music, I can hear the music. I can do magic, I can do magic. 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 Instant classic right there. Instant. Better now. I get it. Been testing the sound out. I'm just glad I'm not high right now. <laughs> I was feeling Charleston White and Aristotle interview. They are speaking on some of the same issues and facts. And this camera has the echo. We got 62 people in the live right now. This camera, this camera had the echo. Had the echo. Oh. You said the camera got an echo. FTS on y'all. BTS, we got FTS in the building. Yeah, produced by Tanti North. Yeah, and Raven. Rayo. Tanti. Still echo? Are we echoing? Yeah, no more, yeah, no more yeah. echoes? Let the chat Let the tell you. Yeah. 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 It's going in. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Mike's is, uh, yeah, that's how you Mike's is good. Mike's is good. Yeah. Pioneer, Pioneer, Pioneer one mic for all of us. I could project mouse. I could put all the mics in, put all the mics in one space right here. But that might be a super echo. I don't know. Right. Right. So it's still, so echoing? still echoing? Still, still in the space. All right, now nah, just turn them up. Anymore. Turn them out. Now somebody else is still in the multiverse. Still in the multiverse. <laughs> still in the multi. Still in the multi. Multiverse of madness. And then, and then my sound effects. Tell me how we sounding with that. We good on it? Huh? Huh? Somebody said yes. Is it still an echo? Is it an echo? 
No shout out, no shout out to them. Shout out to the chat. No, the chat, the chat. Yeah, it's back now. So when you turned it up, maybe the echo came back. They said that's not right. They said that's not right. They said that's not right. What about that? Just start singing. Singing. Or just start swinging the lifesaver. We have all the just life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in trouble. I start singing. I'm in trouble. I heard. All right, turn the mics down a little bit. The mics, the mics. Turn the mics down a little bit. And mics. Wow, mics. That's too low. Yo, how that sound, chat? How that sound, chat? All I need is more mics. How we sound? How we sound? How we sound? Oh, they, oh, they dropped, they dropped out the chat. Oh, no, 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 no. One of the streams, of the streams gotta, get, gotta muted. get muted. He's 49. He's 49. He said one, he said one of the streams gotta get muted. The black sinus. Keep going. Keep going. And when you, and when you rewatch, rewatch the rebroadcast, fix, fix it. Fix it. King Simon, King Simon in the building. Shout out to King Simon. Shout out to Simon in the building. Echo, he got Echo. We still in the Echo. Echo still. We in Snow Low. Still Echo? Yeah, that's what they saying. Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey. He's one of the streams that maybe said that. Yeah, that's what he said. He's one of the streams that he admitted he said that. I think we should go with what Jeff said. <laughs> yeah, we could pass one mic around. No, what about now? Yo, how I sound now? You sound about to start rapping. Yo, 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 yo. Give me a beat. I want two. I want two. Yeah, that's not funny. Slow <laughs> love. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ride their tune. Right, right. Pull up, pull up. Pull up where, where, where. Stop banging on that dumb furnace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, give it up to the sound man, though. We got our people on the sound working yeah, that yeah. magic, working doing what they're doing. Good, yeah, working good, diligently, good, y'all. Good. Please Perfect in the chat, oh, clap it up. Oh, we got a perfect? Now, once we oh, get... We good, we good. Okay, no we more Mark Echoes in the building. All right, we gooch. That was a complex situation. That's right. Now we got it fixed. <laughs> so listen, without any further ado, family, tonight we are going to have a monumental conversation. We are going to talk about all of the things that are basically going on in the culture. Uh, we're going to have a segment of hip hop, which we identify as higher infinite power healing our people because that's what hip hop originally is the acronym shout out to professor griff all right yeah. shout out to paradise shout out to minister server they got an upcoming lecture called three the god way and it's coming to a city near you we'll get into that later on uh we'll post the fly and whatnot um, shout out to my family, shout out to Mama Pill, shout out to KT the Arch Degree, shout out to Blue Pillar, you know what I'm talking about, shout out to my beautiful children and their mamas and whatnot, and shout out to the fam, the network, shout out to A.A. Rashi, uh, Lighthouse, you know what I'm talking about, yeah, shout out to everybody, man, shout out to y'all, man, what's good? Uh, shout yeah, out, shout out. So good. it's a restart, so we reintroducing ourselves. Yes, yes, this yes, is, uh, we are here. This is Jefferson from Athletics. Um, I also have a store, New Black Wall Street Star Status. Shout out to my brother, Santi North. Uh, we coming out with the Right to Bear Arms album in a couple couple months. Yeah, I know it's going to be fire. Yes. My name is Nayshawn. I am the owner and designer of the brand No Shot. Uh, you can find me on IG, N-O-H-S-A-N. Uh, I design men's streetwear, and I also hand make sneakers as well, just to give you a little background about myself. And yes. I'm just here with the fellas kicking it. Indeed, no doubt. And both of you brothers have some workshops coming up on KTL University very soon as well, yes, where you're going to be sharing the wealth, you know what I mean? Yes, uh, giving the formula, the, I call it the formula for moolah. Right. Mm. The formula 
for Moolah, right? We got to make that a shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, the ink is actually drying as we speak. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yeah, it's indeed. hanging up. But um, you're going to be laying out some workshops for the family, so we'll keep them updated and whatnot. Absolutely. But um, tonight we have uh, uh, the opportunity to talk about some things that uh, you know I'm very excited about, and that's the fact mm -hmm. that uh, hip-hop is becoming uh, a competitive sport once again. Or, ain't dead. Yeah. Well, rather rap music, right? right? Yeah, because right. we have to distinguish the two, right? This is higher, infinite power, higher, infinite, infinite power, power healing power. our people, right? So you need to just sit back and meditate on what that means to you personally. But what that means to me is as a part of that rap and right. the sport <laughs> of rap. <clears throat> or, it out as like the gladiators arena, basically. Well, there's there's yeah, niches in rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah niches, rap has but, niches yeah, to yeah, it. No, you know what I mean? There's a there's a there's a niche of rap where you control people's dance movements. There's the melodic part. There's but then there's battle rap, and then there's yeah. beef, which oh, are two beef. different things. Yeah. Because if only the rappers that we knew who were beefing would only be battle rappers, then we would alleviate a lot of those bodies that got caught back in the days. That's shout out right. to Loaded Lux. Shout out to all of the battle, the God shout tears, out. that is. Shout out to the battle. Shout out to Knowledge of God. You know, I'm talking about Smack, DVD, Smack, yeah. all of them. Yeah. Um, a, a, a monumental display of intelligence and quote unquote flow state, uh, memory, cadence, performance. Like the battle rappers, are the, I, I would say that those would be the uh, most underrated niche in modern day hip hop or rap right now. Dangerous. Dangerous. Right? They're getting right? their they shine on now though. Yo, a lot of these a lot, a nah, lot of these man. MCs take their stuff from battle rap, but they don't want to say it, man. Of course. Of course they do. And they don't want to ever be in that ring right there nah. with mm -hmm. them bulls. Nah. They don't want to yeah. admit that part that they don't never want to be caught in the why me pins with them <laughs> bulls in, in case this shit went down. They like, you know what? We're going to see these niggas backstage. We're going to give them these VIP passes, but we ain't mm -hmm. trying to battle with them. So it's like, you know, when you got rappers beefing, it's a little bit different, right? Because when rappers, when, 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 when the Titans go at it, it's known as the clash of the Titans. Right. Because when we talk about hip hop, especially on Saturday Night Live, you know that we're approaching the culture from a state of the point where this is a divination system. We're looking at this culture like, nah, this ain't just regular people rhyming words. This is part of the culture that's actually the mythos. You know what I'm saying? This is not just our entertainment. This is our religion. You know what I'm talking about? This is not just our religion. This is the culture. This is not just the culture. This is our entertainment. This is our sports. This is some other shit. This is some ethereal shit. You know what I'm talking about? This is our history. Because think about it, hip hop turned fifty years old a year ago. Right. I know everything that happened in those fifty years. How about oh, yeah. that? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know everything. <laughs> I don't know everything. Hold on. To this day, I don't know everything. To this day, you don't find that to this suspicious. Day. I don't. You to don't find day. that suspicious. I, I, I don't. To this day, you don't find that the suspicious. I don't. Huh? The fact that you was born into it and you. And, and you know, if you a '70s baby, so to speak, you're gonna hit that run where you growing with the culture. The culture's growing with you, so you shaping it as it goes. Let me explain you know I mean? it, <laughs> Bruh, I'm trying to think about this. I, let's just use this analogy. We in Hollywood. We producers of movies, right? There's something called a lead actor and a lead actress in the movie. And there's something called the beginning of the movie. Ten times out of ten, the lead actor and the lead actress starts out in the beginning of the movie. And what movie have you ever seen or in what place have you ever been to where people come in in the middle of the movie and act like they the ones writing the movie? How, Sway? How? To this day, you don't find that suspicious. Oh, to this day, 
You don't find that to this day. How? He gonna get this to work. this day. To this day. If you, if to you, this day. If, if, they, if you ever discover the time machine, right? If you ever discover the time machine, there's two things people are immediately gonna do because actually Bitcoin gave the the it, it helped to accelerate the creation of the time machine. Right? Yeah. The, the 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 creation of Bitcoin made the fact that somebody is gonna get to a time machine immediately now because they want to go back to 2009 and get them coins. Right. But the other thing that I would tell everybody who discovers or gets a flight or gets a ride on that time machine to do is you make sure that your ass go back to the 70s. You understand? If you don't do nothing, go back to the beginning of when this shit kicked off. Because if you did not have that perspective, I, if you miss one day, you missed a lot, bro. Right, right. If you wasn't there, then you're just being filled in on some shit that you know nothing of, bro. You're not, you wasn't a part of that movie. Right, right, right. I'm just reading it on the you book. gotta, yeah, in you magazine, know. Somebody had to tell you about what yeah. happened. Somebody had to party. explain yeah. to what happened. It. And nobody is right. really, the way that you these niggas is it. giving up history, the revised, they, they got so much of the quote unquote man, Mr. Charlie in them, that they be embellishing everything. You know what I'm talking about? These yeah. niggas are colorful with how they retell stories. Revisionist history. Revisionist history add is, ons. oh add man, add ons. <laughs> add ons. <laughs> Do a fish swim? These niggas adding on limbs and, and ligaments that don't even exist to shit, bro. I so suppose. you know they not telling no type of the truth. Everything is a fabrication. Nothing. I've never really seen nobody tell a direct story of what they actually saw. Right. It, it's always some type of embellishment. But make a long story short, you know... The 70s mean a lot. And the 70s generations are actually the ones that are the architects of this culture and this reality that we're actually existing in right now. They're the ones that are running the show, be it good or bad. You don't have no choice. You're just a part of the what? Divination system. But this divination system and this priesthood and these mother and these and these wizards and these warlocks and these sorcerers and all of these witches and all of these other things that y'all call uh, rappers, y'all give them these simple names, but you don't identify who these people really are. These constellations, Catholic these stars, stars, huh? Stars, Catholic these stars. architects, these people are these are po these are different. If they existed in different times, they would be known in different names. Right. Right? right? But in these days and times, this is what they're known as, whatever. But there's no huh? celebrities, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But regardless of what you want to say, the effects of the fact that when you move millions at once, right? The network effect of that, you can't fathom it or you can't perceive it or you can't process it because you just not probably. Uh, you have not experienced the Million Man March. Right. You didn't go to the Freak Nick. You didn't go to the Greek Fest. You didn't go to the Super Bowl in Atlanta in 2000 and what? No, right. yeah, in the early 2000s. The you, didn't, -Star game. you didn't go to the All-Star yeah. Game. You wasn't at Jack the Rapper. You, you're mm -hmm. not a part of that fold and whatnot. So you can't even fathom what shit like that looks like. It's just a mythos. It's just a mythos. But it really happened like that. Yeah. And it's really happening like that. So we, we're entering into a day and time where you're going to be in the building with your 97,000 streamers with you. And y'all going to be able to make some things happen. So the network effect is the fact that we have nations upon it. We have the control, not the controller. We have we are tapped into and we are attached to and we have the we're we're connected by nodes to nations upon nations of you know how many how many uh me and my brother uh, that's why we call ourselves the twin pillars right the master nodes do you, you know what, what what we would look like as you know with the with the nodes connecting all the other nodes let's just use dr sabia as just one 
Like, if anybody in the community, because there's a lot of people that don't know, right? They just come right, into right. the community. They have no idea about the history. Dr. Sabi was introduced to the conscious community through Know the Ledge. Right. He never was on any other platform. You can never find no footage of him, not to say anything about any other platform. He just didn't know nobody. He didn't rock with that. We brought him through Know the Ledge Radio, and then we brought him in YouTube, and then, you know, boom. And that's just one person. So the nodes that's connected to him is the nodes that are connected to the people that bring you in, right? That's how it works when you platform somebody. We're living in the, what, what is known as the new media era, the digital age, the electrified age. Right. This is a whole new world that never existed in the 70s. Absolutely. We brought it into life, though. Hmm? Yeah. The way we move through the, through the times, along with the, the, the inception of hip-hop and the way it moves, it created It's it. only right. It's only right because hip-hop is... That type of magic, it is, I could do magic. It is that type of portal where it's creating this world. It's, cre it's giving us the tools that we need. It's, it's, it's gentrifying everything for us. We, we look at gentrification as a negative thing. Whereas, what about the fact that if, you're, if your frequency rises wherever you live at in the hood, mm -hmm. what's, doesn't your surroundings supposed to automatically change? Like, don't you supposed to terraform? And, and, and your hood turns into castles and whatnot. Absolutely. So why you look at that as a negative? And then what's stopping your ass from going and take a, a, a few brushes and whatnot and taking the same 10000 that you throw in that Magic City or the same 10000 that you throw in wherever on some bottles that's marked up 3,000% or 300% so you could stand on some damn couch and whatnot. Why don't you take that same 10 bands and go in and give it to them homeless people on Vine Street and tell them, take these paintbrushes and these goddamn mops and brooms and gentrify these hoods? Because right. it's only really a, a, re, a, a beautifying um, project. It's not, it's not that them people that's, that's fixing up the hood, they're not doing nothing special. I was on websites where they are actually kits on how to gentrify the hood. Yeah, there's like box sets. Container homes. No, like yeah, no, they have like they had the actual uh 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 vinyl, they had like the, the mock up and everything. Like gentrification kits. Gentrification kits. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Yeah, man. Buy one. Buy yeah, a quiet yeah. town and tie it down. Tie it down, right. The gentrification Find kit. you a hood and you see what's no, good. <laughs> gentrification kit. Yo, the hood. To them is like Monopoly Baltic Ave, how niggas was flipping Atlantic Ave. They come in there and play games with that shit because it's so Baltic, mm. right? And 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 you know, niggas is living like they in the Baltic Sea. You know what I'm saying? But some people, everybody ain't on Baltic time. Some of us is on Boardwalk. But like Benny the Butcher uh, told us, everybody can't go. Everybody can't go. And we don't trust you. And we don't trust you. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't for everybody. But it's a journey that we all get to basically be a part of vicariously and whatnot. So we live in a very precarious time. Keep in mind, I came from a time when if you had a master teacher, you could not talk to that master teacher, bro. Right. Everybody's accessible, essentially. Mm -hmm. You could, you could. You just have to walk in and listen. Nah, nah, it wasn't that. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying in general. I'm being, I'm being a little yeah. facetious in a sense because you, we was kicking it. Like yeah, we yeah, was yeah, kicking yeah. it. That's how, you know, the master teachers based off of your energy, they not just talking to anybody no type of way. Like Bobby will spin you, bro. Yeah, it's not like how it is now in a sense where you have a master teacher, let's say, like on social media, and everybody think they have access to. Oh, I right. See them right here. I'm gonna run up on them in person and talk to them like how they talk. On social media, like we homeboys, but they don't know who I am at all. At all. At all. Right? So the day I'm 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 honored and I'm sure that y'all were able to actually have that same experience where there was a time where your teachers were at a certain revere, right? They were at a certain heights because they were looked at for their teachings. Yes. They had no internet. 
And we wasn't worrying about wow, what, no, what nothing, son is eating no, at Hope or why he's wearing this shirt. Like, yeah. none of that existed, bro. Yeah. When they, they delivered, gone. they have, there's classics for people who are out here who may have waken up by like high level conversations, or you may have waken up through 2020, or you may waken up because of TikTok. I'm just here to let you know that the foundation of what even created that wave comes from a plethora of master teachers. I would say in total, they may have been about 50 of them, like heavy hitter ones, maybe 50 to 100. It's 50 to 100, foundation. easy. Found, and that's foundation. That's not all of the offshoots. That's foundation. Y'all don't, if, if you if you haven't tapped into a hundred of the foundational, quote unquote, master teachers, that when you listen to them, you be like, hold on. Everything that's going on right now, they talking about. It. Right. Yeah. It all, all, that, all, that to was, you know. all that was tied together. You know, when they first said it, you know, it was like, okay, what, where this coming from? And low down the line. Y'all can this imagine, right? Yeah, can y'all imagine this. hearing this 20 years yeah, ago? Yeah. 10 years. Yeah, people are lackadaisical, like, oh shit, there's aliens in the mall in Miami, son. Yeah. And World War Three has started over yeah. there. And they about to kill the red heifers and take them. Like, and like everything that's going on. I could show you a lecture where it was actually spoken of, maybe verbatim. Like, yo, when this happens. And that happens, and you see this, then that means that this is happening, right? Right. And I'm not just talking about one person because what happened was this turned into the what quote unquote. This turned into you know I think Tyler Perry has something to do with, some, but I mean that <laughs> yo it, it might come out one day yeah, where they release some Billy, papers to show that this that nigga was million. right. I think somehow he was writing the script because. This shit turned into church where everybody had to choose one. So you had to choose one teacher, one master, one line. You had to worship one man where it was a hundred different points of light where people was drawing information from similar to now with the GPT and the AI where you're drawing from all of these different models and whatnot. You know what I mean? So... We had the ability to be able to pull from mass sources. Genuine sources. Genuine sources. They predicted everything that you see these days, bro. And there's nothing going on that wasn't taught to us back in the days, bro. To be honest with you, when you look at it, it's like, why niggas is just sitting around? Because we be acting like, oh my goodness, did you see that? Nigga. <laughs> you should have known. 13 that years ago, you, you was talking about that. You forgot that part. That part. It's you know? Laid on the airwaves. So now we live in the age of experience. And the age of experience has shown us that, you know, when we apply the information, right? Because I think we lived in a day and times where the uh, uh, the, apl the application of the information it wasn't prime for it wasn't ripe for that, right? Right. Like the information was like ahead of its time in a sense, so you really couldn't apply it to the times. You couldn't apply it to the times because the stew wasn't ready, right? You saw the recipe and whatnot, but the cake was in the oven. The ingredients were baking and whatnot. But it's like if you bake a cake and you read the ingredients and they tell you put this in there, put that in there, put that in there, wait for this amount of time and then and look at it. And when you look at it, it should be raised up this amount. That that way, you know, it is being effective and then wait 10 more minutes. And then, you know, what I mean, yeah. so it's like as we got this lessons, we, we heard that the teachings of our peers and whatnot, break things down, decode things, predict things. Some of us on our late night researches, we have our own epiphanies because it ain't just about learning from no teacher. But it's like if you're mastering anything, you got to humble yourself and be a student. Right. And then life becomes a teacher. So what happens in consciousness when you take the red pill where people don't want to admit and they always try to make it seem like it's your responsibility to hold their hands or walk them through the darkness or these tunnels and whatnot is 
when you sign up to this thing, when you take that red pill, you're going to begin a journey that's going to begin a transformation that you have no control over once you sign that contract. But that contract is going to get you out of that other contract. But nobody told you the way to get out of that contract was going to be a walk in the park. You don't you know find that suspicious. And you over here whining and you whatnot and complaining because your, ad, your jaw got tested. <laughs> when people back in the days, if you talk wrong to around the gods... They will punch you in your mouth. They will go in your face. They will go in your mouth. The gods in the, uh, the, the, the nation of gods on earth, this was in the late 60s and the 70s, going into the 80s. Those Clarence was the... Clarence 13 next. Huh? Clarence, Clarence 13, 13 yeah. next. But the nation that he raised, the gods in the, the earth, gods in the earth, those were the righteous gods who were gangsters, and they would go in your mouth and whatnot. And if you didn't know the, the, the math, if you didn't know these things, if you spoke out of term, they was handling you. The nation of Islam. If you spoke out of turn, if you try to run down on one of their people, they was handling you. If you spoke crazy to their people, they was handling you. Remember, we come from a world where you couldn't take a cab through the hood. We couldn't take cabs in the hood either. Not because they wouldn't pick us up. Because if you wasn't walking through the hood and you was trying to ride through the hood, but... You wasn't trying to walk through the hood and face everybody who you may have been talking about or who might be looking for you, then you automatically was forfeited from the game. Yeah. You would you would lose your respect overnight. Like, what this nigga doing in a car or a cab? I come from a place where you have to walk. You got to walk it like you talk it because you couldn't hide. You That's couldn't right. stay in the house, number one. Where I'm from in New York, I, you from CT. Yeah. You from um, Louisiana. You I, Where I'm from, you cannot stay in a house for more than one day, first uh, of all. You had to be outside. You had to be outside. So the way they hiding in the house now, this is some new type This some yeah. new type of shit. Like outside. Future said, this is some new type of shit. Like, I'm a little bit younger. You're not to cut you with right. short. But like, if you was in the house, they would come looking for you anyway. So They you, would still you, come you, to the crib. Door. You couldn't right. hide in the house anyway. You couldn't hide. You had to I'm check outside. in, bro. The oh, internet man. changed things and created a whole new paradigm that we'll get to in one day. That's a whole nother paradigm. But the paradigm that we were raised in, you had to face everything. All of your checks had to get cash, bro. You could not run from the shit that you was into because we walked everywhere. You could not walk through hoods in Brooklyn. Do you understand what that meant? This 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 world that we're living in right now, this is a fallen kingdom. You could not walk through different provinces, like in New Orleans and whatnot. You could not walk through certain parishes and whatnot. In CT, in West Hartford, you couldn't walk through. Yeah, you couldn't walk through different places. You had to have a pass. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, man. I'm from Flatbush. <laughs> I opened up. I, I, I explored Bed-Stuy as a Flatbush dude. I, I opened up Bed-Stuy, me and my brother, me and Blue, that's on guard, and Poop Man, rest in peace, we ex we were the ones who opened up Bed-Stuy and came back and told Flatbush niggas what it looked like in there. Because you could not walk through these hoods like that if you were not from those hoods. I don't know if y'all understand you that. to know somebody. This is pre-9-11. Everything changed after the towers. But pre-9-11, you were not walking through any hood if you wasn't like that. Now, if you was like that, you had then you 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 had to prove that you was like that. And you was good. And certain people had those passes, but bro. <laughs> it, was man. it was different. So if you was talking crazy to a person that was teaching you, you was gonna feel that right away. And then when it when it went into where you couldn't say that you was a teacher, you had to be on the stage and anointed by the anointers. By a, by a priesthood and a council, and then the people had to be like, yeah, he's one of them. You couldn't just make your name up and just launch it and, ah, no. <laughs> couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. You could not do that. So, so much has changed, but so many things have remained the same. So fast forward to where we find ourselves today in these day and times, we have the same type of things going 